In this problem, I'll show you how to mathematically derive the contract curve in the case of Cobb-Douglas preferences. The example reads, suppose there are 1,000 soft drinks and 1,000 hamburgers. Smith's utility function for soft drinks and hamburgers is, and what we have here is one Cobb-Douglas utility function, and Jones' utility function for soft drinks and hamburgers is this, which is yet another example of a Cobb-Douglas utility function. The question asks, what are the efficient ways of allocating x and y derive the contract curve? Here are the three steps. First, we're going to start by setting Smith's MRS equal to Jones's MRS. That's because the necessary condition for exchange efficiency is that the MRSs need to be equal for all, or here both, individuals. Second, we're going to recognize that there is a fixed amount of soft drinks and hamburgers in the society. Specifically, there are a thousand units of X and a thousand units of Y. So the amount of X that Smith has has to be a thousand minus the amount of X that Jones has. And likewise, the amount of, of Y that Smith has has to be a thousand minus the amount of Y that Jones has. So we're gonna use these equations to substitute into what we have from number one. Finally, we're going to solve for y jones. Now, we could have solved for x jones. We could have also instead solved for x smith or y smith. But the important thing is we're going to solve for one of the two goods, preferably, I think, the good that's plotted on the y-axis. And we're going to do this for just one of the two individuals. All right, so here's my work. Remember that the MRS is a ratio of MUX to MUY. So for Smith, the MRS is going to be 2Y over X. And for Jones, Y over 2X. And again, for exchange efficiency, Jones's MRS should equal Smith's. Now what I'm going to do is where there is an, a Y for Smith, I'm going to substitute that Y Smith is 1,000 minus Y Jones. And where there's an X for Smith, again, I'm going to substitute that X Smith is 1,000 minus X Jones. Finally, I'm going to do some algebra to mathematically solve for Y Jones. I'm going to first cross multiply to get this line. Then I'm going to add 4 X Jones Y Jones to both sides. And then I'm going to factor out Y Jones, since it's in both of the two terms on the right-hand side. And then lastly, divide by this term in parentheses to isolate Y Jones. This equation is the contract curve, or the equation that will show us all the different combinations of X and Y that are exchange efficient, or all the combinations of X and Y that represent an allocation such that there's no way to make one individual better off without making the other worse off.